Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the questions from the chapter called Linear Equations in One Variable. The given question is solve the following linear equations and the given equation is m minus m minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 1 minus m minus 2 divided by 3. So guys let us see how we can solve this given linear equation. Question has given us here this equation. Question has given us here this equation m minus m minus 1 divided by 2 m minus 1 divided by 2. Question has given us here this equation m minus m minus m minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 1 minus 1 minus m minus 2 divided by 3. Question has given us this equation m minus m minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 1 minus m minus 2 divided by 3. And question is just asking us to solve this equation. Solve this equation. So guys, solving this type of equation is again a very simple and very easy one. So let's see how we can solve this type of equations. So question has given us m minus m minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 1 minus a minus 2 divided by 3. Now you could see that question has given us this thing. So what we need to do, let's see. Now, now let us first target in removing this denominator of 2 as well as in removing this denominator of 3. So first step is to remove this 2 and then we will remove this, this 3. This 2 and this 3 we are going to remove. How we are going to remove? Let's see. Or I can write a minus a minus 1 divided by 2 into 2 is equal to 1 minus m minus 2 divided by 3 into 2. What I am doing here? I have multiplied. I have multiplied 2. Multiplied 2 to both sides. Multiplied 2 to both sides. Why I am multiplying 2? As I told you, my plan is to remove this 2 first from the denominator. So, I have multiplied 2 and then subsequently I will also multiply 3 in order to, order to remove this 3 from the right hand side. So that we can simplify the given equation. Or I can write m into 2 is 2m. 2m minus m minus 1 upon 2 into 2 is equal to 2 ones are 2 minus m minus 2 m minus 2 upon 3 into 2. I just put here a bracket. I just used here a bracket so that it would be easy in order to solve this type of equations. Or I can write or I can write 2m minus. Let us also put a bracket here. 2m minus m minus 1. Whenever you see a negative sign before, we should always use a bracket so that we will not get confused in changing the symbols. These two and these two it cancels out and we are left with 2m minus m minus 1 is equal to 2 minus m minus 2 into 2 divided by 3. Hope guys you are understanding this. So initially I multiplied 2 in order to remove the 2 from the denominator. Now I will multiply 3 as I told you. I am going to multiply 3 now so that I can remove this 3 from this denominator of the right side of the equation. Or I can write or I can write let me simplify this one little bit further. 2m minus m plus 1. Why? After opening the bracket, if I open the bracket, this one minus and this one is actually plus m. Minus into plus is minus m. Minus into minus 1 is plus 1. Is equal to 2 minus. Again, 2 into 2 into 2m and 2 into 4. This is what we need to do. So what we get? 2m minus 4. 2m minus 4 upon 3 or I can write 2m minus m 2m minus m is m m plus 1 is equal to 2 minus 2m minus 4 divided by 3 or I can write what I can write now or I can write m plus 1 into 3 is equal to 2 minus 2m minus 4 divided by 3 into into 3 into 3 
Hope guys you are understanding this. Just I multiplied 3 to both sides of the equation and you very well know why I multiplied 3. I have multiplied 3 so that I can eliminate this 3 from the denominator. For that reason only I have multiplied 3 to both sides of the equation. Multiplied, multiply, multiplying 3. 3 to both sides. Multiplying 3 to both sides. What we got now if we solve this. I can write or 3m plus 3, 3m plus 3 is equal to 3 to the 6, 6 minus 2m minus 4 upon 3 into 3 or that is equal to or that is equal to 3m, 3m plus 3 is equal to 6 minus this 3, this 3 cancels out and we are left with 2m minus 4. Or I can write 3m plus 3 is equal to 6 minus 2m plus 4. This minus into this plus it became minus 2m and this minus and minus 4 it became plus 4. Or I can write 3m plus 3 is equal to is equal to minus 2m plus 4 plus 6. Just I have moved the constants together so that it would be easy for us to solve without, without making any errors. Or I can write, or I can write 3m plus 3 is equal to minus 2m plus 10. Or I can write 3m plus 3 plus 2m is equal to 10. What I am doing here? Just I have transposed, transposed minus 2m from left hand side to right hand side. Guys, I am taking some time to explain you but you people can solve this type of equations within 5 minutes or maximum 10 minutes, not more than that. Or I can write 3m plus 2m is equal to 10 minus 3. What I am doing here? Transposing, transposing plus 3 from left hand side, from left hand side to <coughs> right hand side. Now, here actually I have moved minus 2m from right hand side to left hand side. Or I can write 3m plus 2m is 5m. 5m is equal to 7. So guys, what we got? We got 5m is equal to 7. <coughs> or I can write, or I can write 5m divided by 5 is equal to 7 divided by 5. What I am doing here? Dividing, dividing both sides, dividing both sides by 5. Why I have divided both sides by 5? So that I can eliminate this 5 from M. For that reason, I have divided 5 by both these sides. Or I can write M is equal to 7 upon 5. So what we got? We got the value of M as 7 upon 5. Hope guys, you understood this. We got the value for MS7 divided by 5. This is our answer. We got the value of MS7 upon 5 and this is our answer. We just found out the value for MS7 upon 5. Now let us check our answer. In order to check our answer, we need to check our answer. Why? Because we need to identify or we need to ensure that whatever the value for m that we got here is correct or not. In order to do that, let us check our answer. So in order to check our answer, let us rewrite the original equation that the question has given us. So question has given us m minus m minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 1 minus m minus 2 divided by 3. Question has given us this thing. So let us first check the left hand side of the equation. So what we are going to do here, we will check the left hand side of the equation and we will check the right hand side of the equation. And we need to find out whatever the value we are getting for the left hand side is matching to that of the right hand side. If it is matching, then the value that we found out here is absolutely correct. So let us rewrite the left hand side. Left hand side is m minus m minus 1 upon 2. Or that is equal to, I can write m minus, let me write it in the, this way, m minus 1 into 1 upon 2. If I write this one in this way, nothing wrong will be 
there nothing wrong will be there hope guys you are understanding m minus 1 upon 2 i can write it as m minus 1 into 1 by 2 so upon 2 means it divided by 2 is nothing but into 1 by 2 hope guys i am very clear till here this is most important thing we should understand in order to simplify it properly without any confusions i am writing m minus 1 upon 2 as m minus 1 into 1 upon 2 or that is equal to i can write now let me replace the value for m let me replace the value for m the value for m is 7 upon 5 minus 7 upon 5 minus 1 into 1 upon 2 hope guys i i am understanding i am very clear to all of you hope guys i am very clear to all of you or i can write what i can write or i can write 7 upon 5 minus minus 7 upon 5 minus 1 upon 1 1 means 1 upon 1 guys i am noting down each and every step i should have directly moved ahead and and i should have directly replaced the value of him i know how to replace the value for him directly and show the answer but i am moving step by step so that you people can understand otherwise i could have directly replaced the value of m and i could have found out the value for left hand side as well as for the right hand side but you people will get difficulty in understanding you people will get confused for that reason i am writing step by step so that you people can understand so that is equal to 7 upon 5 7 upon 5 minus 7 upon 5 minus 1 into 5 divided by 1 into 5 why guys because you could see that here you could see that here we have the denominator as 5 i need to convert this one denominator into 5 in order to convert this one denominator into 5 i need to multiply i need to multiply the numerator and denominator with 5 hope guys i'm very clear till here or that is equal to 7 upon 5 minus 7 upon 5 minus 5 upon 5 into 1 upon 2 hope guys you could understand what i am trying to do here or that is equal to 7 upon 5 minus 7 minus 5 upon 5 because we could now converted the denominator into 5 so uh, we could easily sum summarize it we could easily solve this so that means 7 minus 5 7 minus 5 divided by 5 or that is equal to 7 upon 5 minus 7 minus 5 is 2 upon 5 2 upon 5 into 1 upon 2 or that is equal to i can write 7 upon 5 minus 2 upon 10 or that is equal to now now guys you could see here that i have the denominator as 5 and i have the denominator as 10 and 10 is my highest denominator so let us convert this 5 into 10 how to convert i need to multiply it with 2 if i multiply this with 2 then i can convert it to 10 so let us do that that means 7 into 2 divided by 5 into 2 minus 2 upon 10 hope guys i am very clear till here hope guys i am very clear till here otherwise if you do not understand these things these are very simple and very straightforward things you will get confused and you will make errors so i am moving step by step or i can write that is equal to 7 to the 14 divided by 10 minus 2 upon 10 what which one i am solving i am solving this part guys i am solving this part this part that is equal to 14 minus 2 divided by 10 that is equal to 12 divided by 10 that is equal to 2 6 the 12 2 5 the 14 so guys what i got i got the left hand side of my equation as 6 upon 5 let us keep it keep it as it is now we got the left hand side as 6 upon 5 now let us move ahead and solve the right hand side now we know that or the question has given us the right side of the equation is the right side of the equation is 1 minus a minus 2 divided by 3 we will do the same thing that is equal to 1 minus a minus 2 into 1 by 3 hope guys you are understanding instead of divided by 3 i am multiplying with 1 upon 3 that's all i am doing that is equal to 1 minus replacing the value of m with a 7 upon 5 because if you look above we got the value for m is 7 upon 5 let us look it once let us look it once so that we would be more clear you could see here that we got the value of m as 7 upon 5 that is what i am replacing here i am just replacing the value upon uh, of m 
the value of m is 7 upon 5 minus 2 minus 2 means 2 upon 1 into 1 upon 3 hope guys i'm very clear till here or that is equal to 1 minus 7 upon 5 minus 2 into 5 divided by 1 into 5 what i'm doing here I am trying to equalize the denominator. I am trying to equalize the denominator. Or I am trying to make the denominator similar. Here we have the denominator 5. I want to convert this denominator to 5. In order to convert this denominator to 5, I need to multiply this one with 5. That's what I am doing here. If I am multiplying something to the denominator, I should also multiply the same thing to the numerator. This is what I did here. Or that is equal to, or that is equal to 1 minus 7 upon 5 minus 10 upon 5 into 1 upon 3 or that is equal to 1 minus 7 minus 10 upon 5 into 1 upon 3 or that is equal to 1 minus 7 minus 10 is minus 3 divided by 5 into 1 upon 3 or that is equal to that is equal to 1 plus 3 upon 5 into 1 upon 3. Why 3? Uh, why 3 upon 5? This minus and this minus, if it gets multiplied, it becomes positive. So, for that reason, I have considered plus 3 upon 5. Or that is equal to 1 plus 3 upon 15. Or that is equal to, I can write 1 upon 1 plus 3 upon 15. Or that is equal to, I need to make this 1 as 15. So, that I can Simil make the denominator similar. That means I need to multiply that 1 with 15. If I am multiplying the denominator with 15, I should also multiply the numerator with 15. So this is what I am doing here. 1 into 15, 1 into 15 plus 3 upon 15. 15. That is equal to 15 upon 15. That is equal to 15 upon 15 plus 3 upon 15. So, what we got here? We got 3, 15 upon 15 plus 3 upon 15. Or that is equal to, I can write, or that is equal to 15 plus 3 divided by 15. 15 plus 3 divided by 15. 15 plus 3. 15 plus 3 divided by 15. That is equal to 18 divided by 15. That is equal to 3, 6, 18, 3, 5, 15. So what we got here? We got right hand side is equal to 6 upon 5. Now let us see. Let us see what we got. Let us recall what we got for the left hand side. If you look here, if you look here, the left hand side of the equation that we got here is also 6 upon 5. We got the left hand side as 6 upon 5. Now we got the left hand side as 6 upon 5. And right hand side also, we got 6 upon 5. Now, we got the right hand side of the equation as 6 upon 5. So, we can easily say that, we can easily say that, therefore, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence, this is verified. This is verified. Guys, this, this is a little bit lengthy one, but you people can omit some steps and you people can answer this type of questions easily in the examination. Guys, if you have any questions or doubts, please feel free to ask me in the comment section of this video. Definitely, I will get back to you once I see your comments. Guys, if you really like my videos, please subscribe and let your friends know. If you really like my videos, I would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know. This will motivate me to create similar videos in the future. Thank you. Bye.